Hello, I'm Jamie Harrison, and you're very welcome to this video tutorial where I am just going to be showing you a um, a basic guitar riff where we're just going to be going, uh, we're going to be actually looking into the, the actual strumming pattern of it. And what I mean by the strumming pattern is the down strokes, the up strokes, and misses. Okay. Um, now, just before we get started, I'd just like to point out that one thing you'd want to note just before we start here is you want to practice this technique actually it's called a chuck now a chuck is used in a, in a lot a lot of songs just to get the rhythm you know okay just to get the rhythm um so basically what a chuck is is you use this part of your hand to mute the strings okay it's like pan muting you have to mute, mute the whole mute the whole and um, you, you mute it all together okay you're not playing any of the strings okay so what you want to do is you want to put that part of your hand down on the strings, let it flow with the strings, so it's touching on the strings, and then follow through with the pick. Okay, so you're going, okay, so it's like that. So you should be able to do that without blocking with these fingers at all now. I'm not muting anything with these with, with your left hand. Um, so that's a chuck, anyway. So basically, you want to practice that before you get into this riff, okay. Um, and that will help you with a lot of other songs in the future. Anyway, regards the riff, what it is is the E chord, the G chord, and the A. Okay, C major, G major, and A major. So what you're playing is down, chuck. Okay, so you're playing down, okay, down, up, down, chuck. Okay, so it's down, up, down, chuck. Okay. Now you're always you're always um, doing a chuck on a down stroke. Ah, okay, down. You can't do it enough. Okay. But you can, but it's, I mean, it's, it's a lot harder. Um, and it's not a very common thing to do. Okay. So basically, you have down, up, down. And then you miss the up. Okay. You miss the up, and you play the chuck again. So it's down, miss, chuck. Okay. And what I mean by miss is just don't play anything. Continue the up down strokes, but just don't play anything. So you miss on the up, okay? So it's down, miss, chuck, okay? Up, down, miss, chuck, okay? So we have. Okay? And now your play is up, miss the down, up, okay? Like that, so. Okay, so it's. Okay. okay. So actually, you do the upstroke uh, three times. So in the middle of the upstroke, you can do th three chucks as well. So okay, like that. <coughs> Sorry, two for the first two. Two chucks for the first two. Okay, so it's okay. So let's get on the E. We have. Now, when you're going to the down here, you go to the G. Okay. Now, what you can do on the upstroke here is you can actually let off and play the open strings. I know it sounds it doesn't sound good there, but when you play it together, um, and just sound like the the transition kind of between the chords. Okay. So you play. Okay. That's going from G. Um, just when you are playing the open strings, try not to get that sixth string in. Okay, maybe even the the fifth string. So just just do just top four strings. Okay, so back to E. Okay, so down, chuck, up, down, chuck, up, chuck, up, chuck, up, down, open strings, down, open strings. Okay, so all together we have. Okay, uh, it's a pretty common riff. It's in it's in um, several songs. That particular one I think now is um, you could play it in "Born to Be Wild," and um, I'm sure you all know that song. Um, and that is about it, okay? 
So give us an email if you have any questions about that and best of luck with it and thank you for watching.